Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove and replace AC condenser on BMW guys 3 series. If you have BMW 3 series between year 2005 and year 2013 guys, I'm talking about generation E90, E91, E92, E93. We will show you guys what needs to be done to remove and replace that condenser. Another thing before we start guys, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos. Specifically on BMW 3 Series we will have more than 400-500 videos. Why? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below, let us know if the video was helpful. So let's go ahead and start on it and we will show you what we need to do now. So uh, first step guys, okay, will be to drain the cooling system. You have to drain your cooling system. For any of you that do not know how to do that, we have the video on the channel how to drain cooling system and uh, check it out. I will try to put the link in the description of the video below but if for some reason you don't see it guys, okay, just search for how to drain the coolant, okay, on BMW E90, E91, 92, 93. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So in order guys, okay, to get to the radiator, okay, or the condenser, uh, we'll first need to remove the cooling fan. Okay, we'll need to disconnect that line right here, coolant line that goes to over here. So first we'll need to drain the coolant. Uh, uh, we have guys the complete video on the channel how to drain coolant on this BMW and I will try to put the link in the description of the video below. So please guys check it out how to drain coolant on BMW E90, E91, 92 or 93. So check it out. Once we drain the coolant guys, okay, we can continue with the next step. So. Now we're going to remove that air duct on the front. Okay, we have one screw with a few of screwdriver that we need to remove on this side. We're supposed to have one more here, but ours, guys, is missing, okay, on one side. So we need to get a different screwdriver, a smaller screwdriver. Uh, we, will, we will need to remove two clips right here, one over there and one right here. And uh, once we remove those clips, okay, we should be able to actually pull that thing, okay, pull that thing out. So let's see if it's going to happen now. Okay, let's go. It's coming out now, perfect. Now, let's see what else we need to do. Just two more clips here. Well, we don't even need to remove the ones on the phone, just disconnect that thing. Okay, let's see. Yep, it came out, so perfect. Okay, we don't need to even worry about it, guys. Okay, removing that piece for now. So, as you can see, radiator fan, cooling fan right here. After that, you have the radiator. And past that point, you have the condenser. So, uh, since we'll be working on the radiator fan now, guys, it's super, okay, super dangerous uh, because it can turn on anytime, okay, without notice. So, you have two options, but I'll recommend one of them. Disconnect your car battery, guys, before you continue, okay? Because if you put your fingers here and it turns on, you you take your fingers off, guys. That thing is super powerful. Disconnect the car battery. On modern cars, it really matters how you disconnect the car battery. Which terminal you disconnect first, positive or negative? If you don't know how, guys, to do that, we have a video on the channel that explains that, which one to disconnect first and which one, which terminal to reconnect first. So check out the link. I'll try to put it in the description of the video below. The other option is to disconnect, actually, the, the fan from right here, okay, you will have two, okay, two clips that you need to push. Okay, one is stuck on the other side. Okay, it is coming out, but believe me, that thing, that thing is strong. Okay, disconnected that way, uh, the fan cannot get a power supply. And we'll need to disconnect it anyways, but do it do it at first, guys, so you don't need to, okay, you don't need to worry about something happening. Let's go ahead and disconnect the little holes right here. Okay, you need to lift that spring up. When you lift it up, careful, guys. Okay, it will be, it will be stuck. So be careful when you pull too much, not to release all at sudden, and you can crack it easily. One clamp right there. Okay, we hope that it doesn't Okay, it doesn't turn on the other side, but we were able to spin it with our fingers Okay, now we have to be extremely careful if you put too much pressure you can break Okay, that uh, feeding right here. So twist it a little bit left and right 
okay straight and pull out and this house comes out if you need if you break it guys i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below where you can actually buy that house from uh, because that's a very very common problem okay and the upper radiator hose right here as well that could happen guys so now we're going to go on the left side and we're going to disconnect okay that cable for the uh, sensor that actually activates the radiator fan on the uh, lower radiator hose guys okay right there lower radiator hose we need to uh, get that thing out so Torx 20 I think okay let me see if it's a 20 yep Torx 20 start looking bit let me focus show you what it looks like all the tools and parts that we use we'll share the links in the description of the video below guys it could be even 25 maybe 25 Torx 25 guys so we need to definitely okay uh, remove that screw we have a couple clips so far that we need to release I'll show you where those are and uh, we should be okay we should be getting close if you get a ratchet it may be a little bit more convenient because it will be shorter so okay perfect it came out you can see just like that so now guys right here this is your radiator fan and if you come on the right side okay there is one clip that you need to release okay this clip okay let me focus one second this clip okay i'm still trying to focus right here you pry that way and you lift the fan up at the same time careful not to break your upper radiator holes okay and let's see if it's going to come out or the hose is in the way so we need to check it out now it will be down there okay uh, i'm trying to actually zoom in a little bit to show you okay and it will be attached to the uh, radiator fan guys so we'll need to jack the car up we're going to put jack stands we'll go underneath okay and uh, we'll see what exactly is holding it in place so we can remove it so we're going to go underneath on the driver's side okay and okay perfect this is guys the one i'm talking about okay you can see how it attaches to the radiator fan some cars will have that some will not so you have to guys okay go ahead and remove that bolt okay with a 10 millimeter socket it's actually a screw it's all about it. it's a screw perfect okay now it's loose on this side okay and the fan you can see it pushes up and it should come out at that point i think with no problem so let's let's check this thing out we have to be careful because if you push too hard okay you can break the upper radiator hose right here so this is where we should be very careful guys very very careful you kind of like need to maneuver a little bit left right if it cannot come out we'll have to disconnect the holes here so we'll see okay how that's going to happen now because okay it's hitting a little bit on this side so we might need to remove the upper radiator hose we'll check in a second or we need to disconnect the sensor that actually activates the radiator fan okay right right there let's give it one more shot okay it's going to come on this side nothing's holding on this side now okay perfect radiator fan came out okay you can see just like that now guys there is a there is a way to remove and replace or to remove the condenser and the radiator at the same time which one will be a little bit easier but there is a way to actually i think remove the radiator only and the condenser stays in the car and then you can remove the condenser now we're going to go the long route and show you how to remove the radiator first and then the condenser uh, but uh, if you need to guys see how to do the whole thing okay we'll explain that as well but uh, we'll need to remove the air filter box it's a little bit in the way 10 millimeter socket let's just go ahead and remove two, two bolts here okay we need to actually disconnect the hose okay for the mass airflow sensor on the back side just the clamp that we're getting loose 
Okay, and it actually spun a little bit. We need to disconnect there. Okay, the uh, this is the wiring for the muff sensor. Okay, so disconnect that one. This box, when the hose comes out, the whole box should be able to pull out of there. Okay, and you can see how much room we can get that way now. Okay, and we can definitely visualize things a little bit better. Always cover your holes here because uh, now guys, if you drop something and you don't know about it, it's going to end up going in the engine and it will severely damage your engine. So you want to avoid that guys and be as careful as you can. So let's go ahead and continue now. So we need to go ahead and remove the upper radiator hose, okay right here, that will be the next step, upper radiator hose, then we need to uh, actually disconnect the lower radiator hose, okay, and you will have two of those, one here, one on the other side, okay, right there, we need to disconnect both, and uh, here guys, okay, let me explain these hoses, how you do it, okay, you can see that clamp, okay, that metal clamp, just go ahead, okay, pull it up like that, now those things will be stuck guys, so, okay, you have to just pry it out, but believe me, that thing will be stuck, guys, big time. So, we will jiggle it a little bit and it will come out. I need to get it with the other hand, okay? Let me see if somebody can hold the camera for a second and I think I'll be able to pull that thing out. Okay. Perfect. This one is, is out, you can see. So we need to do the same thing to that hose, okay, right here. Okay, let me see if I can get this one. Ah, I push the clip back in. And what I'll do, I'll just remove that clip all the way later. We'll reinstall it, so. Okay. <coughs> and this is stuck and I don't want to pry too much on the radiator. Because you can easily break it. And we did leak some coolant out guys. So let's get something okay to fix our mess now. So now we have one more on the bottom guys, okay, uh, with the same kind of thing. So we just need to disconnect this one now guys, okay, I have it loose, okay, but I need to pull it out somehow. So. Let me see, okay, how that's going to work out. Okay, if I can. Get it without breaking the radiator. So, we guys got that hose loose, I'll show you in one second, but first uh, we just pushed it back in, so uh, coolant is coming out. Okay, and we don't wanna make more of a mess. We need to disconnect one hose, okay, right here that uh, plugs in to the radiator, okay, you can see this one. So we'll go ahead, uh, actually disconnect this one and we'll be ready with all the hoses after that. So, okay, let's see what exactly we need here, okay, to disconnect this one now. So if you come to right here, I'll be able to show you, okay, this is, uh, okay, I'm trying to get a little bit of light. Okay, the screw is right there, guys. The screw, and it stocks 25. Torx 25 star looking bit. We'll need to get a ratchet with a short socket and we'll go ahead, okay, get that one loose. We we'll have uh, coolant out, leaking. Uh, coolant is very dangerous for you guys, so always use gloves, always use protection, high protection. And if you get some on your skin, clean it immediately, guys. So, if you need to buy any tools and parts, we'll have the links in the description of the video below, as I said. Torx 25, okay, we need to get now. Let's see, yep, right there, that's what it looks like. So I will video from top and one person will go underneath to actually start taking this thing off. Once you remove the whole bolt, okay, the holes will come loose, guys. So 
Okay, we will explain as we go. Okay, you can see how the screw is coming out. Perfect. So we go with gently guys, not to break anything. Pull it out, let the coolant drain. You won't have much, but you always have some in the radiator. So let it drain. Okay, and once it's done on this side, we'll come to this side and we'll actually remove these two hoses. Everything's pretty loosened. And we finally got them out. It took a little bit of time. The bottom one, what we did, one person with a screwdriver barely pried a little bit while I was pulling on it. But be careful because your radiator can break super easy, guys. Those hoses, they get stuck so much to the point that sometimes you will break the radiator, no matter what you do. So, uh, we'll guys put link in the description of the video below where we got our radiator from. This is a new radiator that we installed last, uh, 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 last season and a uh, new radiator, new condenser. Links will be in the description of the video below. So, we'll let it drain and we'll continue. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the hoses. Gloves on. Top one now. Okay, we won't have much. We'll have some in the hose, so later we need to drain the hose, guys. Okay, perfect. So far, okay, you can see everything is loose. We're just draining the coolant out of the radiator. So, now guys, on top, while it's draining, okay, we're going to just leave it like that. While everything is draining, okay, we have two screws that we need to remove on top with the Torx 25, the one that we already used underneath, okay, with the ratchet, we have two of them, one on this side, okay, one screw right here, and one on the other side, just like this one. So we will go ahead and remove these two guys. Okay, right there. It's coming as it's coming. So let's see if we can go ahead and remove it all that way. Who guys have videos on the engine, on the transmission, on that thing, on quite a few things. So quite a bit will come, guys. Okay, we're removing now the one on the other side. You can see it's in the corner right there. Perfect, it came out. Now, uh, let's see guys what else we have actually holding that radiator. Because it doesn't seem that it's much, guys. Okay, on this side, it came loose. It lifts up a little bit. It comes out and it lifts up. So, on here we have one clip, I believe. Okay, it's, but it looks like it just needs to come back somehow on this side and it doesn't want to. It's like it's getting st stuck here. So let's do a little bit of messing with it and see what exactly it is. So, we're going to remove the upper radiator hose because it's uh, pushing quite a bit on the radiator. Okay, so we'll remove the clamp too. Now, you just grab it, guys. Okay, and it comes out. We can flip it on the side there. Okay, usually they come out a little bit easier from the aluminum housing than the plastic housing. Now that radiator, okay, it comes out. Okay, it's stuck on the hose there. Okay, give me one second to come right here. Okay, and see where we're hitting. More coolant coming out. Okay, we're just draining it now, guys. And radiator 
came out. So at this point you have to make sure that you do not have any free on any charge in your AC system guys. Make sure that you, don't, you do not have any charge. Now, how you guys drain the system, you cannot just open the valve and drain it. Okay, in the atmosphere. First, that's dangerous for you. Second, it's killing the ozone guys. And third, there is a big fine for that. So, uh, there are shops guys and most of them that service ACs for a minimum fee guys can vacuum your system down. Then hook the machine and they just pump the Freon out of the system. That's what I recommend to have done. And we have a video on the channel that explains how with a cheap machine you can do that. And I'll try to put the link okay to the machine that we use in the description of the video below once you pump the system out and you don't have any free on uh, you always have a little bit left but it won't be much guys you're going to get a torx okay what is that one five six okay torx uh, six guy uh, not torx i want range excuse me i want range six millimeter okay and we're going to remove the two lines okay just get the Bolts loose there. That's what we're working on now. Okay, I told you that we will always have just a little bit of Freon left. So always wear eye protection. Okay, and always guys, okay, use gloves as well. Uh, because in our case, okay, you don't even see any Freon coming out. It's most likely guys, okay. It's most likely just empty pressure. Okay, that we still have a little bit in the system. Okay, you can see minimum amount. You don't want guys, okay, to just drain that thing in the atmosphere because if everybody does that, okay, we're going to kill the earth all zone and we don't need help with that. There is enough damage is already done. So, disconnecting the two lines, perfect. Okay, they come out. Now, uh, right here guys, okay, on the back side we have that bracket that yellow bracket that we need to disconnect okay check it out right there so we're going to go ahead disconnect this one there is a couple clips okay and pull it out okay and see if anything else will be holding there so let's see where the clips are i think they're on the back side actually so now i'm a little bit upside down so i can video guys but right here one of the clips okay you access from the back side okay right there let's pull it out a little bit or it's still holding i don't know let's try this one now let's try the top one first okay it's coming loose no not yet so we'll just get the pliers okay and we can pull it and press on the clip at the same time okay and that piece come out okay those are the clips okay right here this one there you need to press it this way and one on the bottom side like that so at that point guys okay everything should come out okay that okay radiator should oh one bolt right here we have one bolt one screw Torx 25 screw that we have between the hoses that we didn't see before so we need to go ahead and remove that one okay perfect this is guys the screw long screw you can see just like that so now let's go ahead and see if we have anything holding on the other side we have a clip there that you need to lift up a little bit okay with the screwdriver okay the clip i'm talking about right there okay and that condenser comes out guys you can see just like that so that's how you guys remove the condenser on BMW 3 Series, E90, E91, E92, E93, guys. So, it, you can see everything's out. So, that's how you guys remove the condenser. If you need to buy a new one, we'll have the links in the description of the video below. Please check it out, guys. We'll share all that for your convenience. If you want to see more videos on that BMW, we have a special channel. It's called Electrical Car Repair Life. 
You can find videos about fuses, relays, diagnostic engine codes will be listed there guys and this is our main channel auto repair guys so far we have we have helped more than 60 70 million people guys it's unbelievable how much money we save people so all we are asking for guys subscribe to the channel and like the video leave a comment and let us know if the video was helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time